Africa. Okay, you must understand that we are living in extremely difficult times. Honorable Ambua, then Honorable Mweshimua Waziri, Eugene Omalo will come to conclude. Thank you. Pele ni na endelea ni na zidi kutembea maombi u ya sikiye e bana u ni pa di she. Ebuana u ni nuwe kwa imani ni si mame ni pandemi ni mayote ebuana u ni pa. President Uhuru Mwagai Kenyatta, Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga, Vice President Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, our principals, a clergy, a distinguished guests, wana yesu asifiwe. Let us not forget the reason why we are here today. We are here to remember and honor the lives of our people that have been killed in the struggle. And these deaths will not make us be cowards. These deaths will not stop us from pursuing the cause. These deaths will give us strength and courage to soldier on. I want to say one thing. Apostle Paul when he was talking to his son, Timothy, in 2 Timothy chapter 1, 7, or 7, 1, or 1, 7, Paul tells Timothy that for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us a spirit of love, a spirit of power, and a spirit of a sound mind. CCC wazimu. Sindio? CCC wazimu. We know what we are fighting for and we will fight for it until the last man. Mimi nataka kusema kwa niaba ya wabunge wabunge ya Senate tuko na Sifuna, Mheshimiwa Sifuna wa Nairobi, tuko na Mheshimiwa Ososi kutoka Vihiga, nimeona Mheshimiwa Kavindu from Machakos. On behalf of the Senate of the Republic of Kenya, Baba, we are firm. We are unbowed to tasukumana na our watu mpaka mwisho. Having said those uh, few remarks, I want to take this opportunity to invite Waziri Eugene Wamalwa to continue with the program. Karibu sana, Waziri. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Senator. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you all for I mean for this fellowship to mourn with the families who lost their dear ones and also pray for those who are wounded and still in various